So one of the reasons that I found that so many PhD students and researchers, and maybe you yourself, struggle to publish more research papers, to write a better thesis, is because we have too much on our plate. And the main reason why, you know, why so many of us in academia feel stressed and feel like, you know, we might go into a burnout, feel overwhelmed, is because, you know, there are just too many things on a plate that we're trying to do at the same time. So what I want to talk about in this video is the one thing. And, and this book has really inspired me and has helped me to achieve more success without feeling stressed or burned out and has also allowed me to help my clients better at Academic English Now to publish more research papers. So if you are a researcher or a PhD student who is currently feeling overwhelmed, like you feel like you're pulled in all sorts of directions by the different tasks that you have to do and you don't have time for writing papers, then you wanna watch this video in full so that you learn how you can do the one thing focus better and write more papers for better journals in 2024. If you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I'm the founder of Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers publish more papers in better journals in Scopus Q1 index journals. And really, you know, I wanted to start this video with a, with a quote from, from this book, um, the, one, the One Thing. And the quote goes, where I'd had huge success, I had narrowed my concentration to one thing. And where my success varied, my focus had two. And I found that this is very true in, in my own life as well. And in any research that I've tried to do over the years, that whenever I, I've, I've kind of focused or tried to focus on too many different things at the same time, then, you know, I wasn't successful at them. I only became successful with Academic English Now and I only became successful at helping other PhD students and researchers publish more papers where this became my sole focus and the only purpose and the only thing that I basically do. When I try to do five different things at the same time, I was not successful. And this might be happening to you as well because really, you know, your results are determined by how narrow you make your focus if you think about it you know all all human beings we limited by by time and energy right that we can put into a certain task so think about it like this you know if if you have a bucket of time and energy that you can devote to something and then you divide it into 10 different tasks each of those tasks only get gets one tenth of the time and one tenth of the energy that you had, right? So obviously you will get one tenth of the results. However, if you fill that whole bucket with just one thing, then that one thing, whatever it is, is getting 100% of your energy and of your time. Therefore, you're going to get 10 times better results. So sometimes, you know, people ask me like, how is it possible that, you know, you did your PhD in three years? Well, I just focused on it for three years. That was the only thing that I did. And when I did it, I just focused fully on it. And sometimes people wonder how, how our clients are able to achieve such amazing results and publish several papers in a short amount of time. Well, we teach them how to focus on one thing and how to choose that one thing that you can do each day, each week, so that you really devote your full attention and energy to it. And one really, important thing to remember about about focuses and energy is that to achieve anything it obviously takes time so what, what you need to do is choose that one thing that you're going to focus on and choose your priority for each day for each week each month and just and just do it relentlessly over time because progress isn't linear we often think that you know progress is a line like this and it's completely linear and the more effort we put in the, the more we're going to get out of it every single day but it usually doesn't work like that you know and um, the, the the line is more like this where there is a, a certain threshold where you pass that threshold the progress becomes exponential but you have to work at it uh, for a, for a long time and you have to focus on that one thing that you're doing. That's why, you know, this idea of the one thing is so, so important. So how do you choose the one thing? How, how do you know what is the priority today, this week, you know, this month, where you have so many things 
vying for your attention and you know your your list of tasks just grows every hour every day but really you can you can think about it in in two ways so there are tasks that you could do and tasks that you should do right so when you have your to-do list you want to just divide it into tasks that could be done and tasks that should be done and really you know there's typically just one thing that you should do each day right there are many things that you could potentially do today like you could respond to emails uh, you could go and see your supervisor you could maybe you know watch a YouTube video like this one you could you could do a million things but you want to think what well, what is the one thing that I should do today that is going to allow me to move towards my goal um, at the fastest possible pace because really you know you want to think about the one thing in the long term as well. well what is the one main thing that i want to achieve right and then when you have your task you want to think about well what is the one thing that i should do today because that one thing is going to give me 80 percent of the results i mean you've probably heard of the pareto principle but how often have you actually applied it in practice and this one thing is really you know a philosophy of applying this pareto principle because you know the important thing is really the most important thing to do it's not the thing that you could do but really the the, the thing that you should do that is the most important and you need to ignore everything else and i know that this sounds difficult maybe impossible you're thinking like well I, I can't ignore emails from my supervisor or from my colleagues there are so many things that i need to do but that's the reality that you've created for yourself right now and you really have to sit down and think long and hard well, what is the one thing that i should be doing right now because for me for example right now there are a lot of things that i could have done today or i could be doing today you know i i could help clients i could revise texts um, i could look at our facebook ads and i could record a youtube video like this one so how do i know what is the thing that i should do where i i look at what is the priority for today and and which thing is going to give me 80 percent of the results and that's how you choose the thing that you should do today right now and then you have to do it now, if you want more personalized help with this and you really want our help to, you know, our support to help you choose the one thing and help you to focus better, manage your time better, to ultimately write more papers for better journals, then book a free one-to-one -one consultation. The link is right below this video. You'll meet one of our expert advisors one-to-one -one, and we'll look at the main challenges that you have, identify your goals, and then see if and how we might be able to help you. And with that said, I definitely also encourage you to read this book, The One Thing, because it's truly, truly amazing.